Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome to my channel. Today starts part 11 of my weight loss journey, so stay tuned. So I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different for this vlog because I feel like I've been doing a lot of the same thing over and over again in these videos and well, I figure that it's probably getting boring. So I wanted to change it up a little bit. So typically what I've been doing is showing you one of my workouts and then you get my weigh in at the end of that week. And then I show you a day where I'm, you know, eating with my calorie deficit and again, my weigh in and all the measurements. So I'm still gonna do the weigh-ins, I'm still gonna do the measurements, um, but I decided this week instead of showing you one of the exercise routines that I do, I thought I'd go over the apps that I'm using and how they work and all of that stuff, because I don't know, I, I really like them. They've helped me a lot. Um, I've also picked up a couple of new ones. Uh, I have a couple that I use on occasion but not often and I just thought I would share all those with y'all and then I'm also uh, incorporating something new into my uh, diet plan I guess and uh, you'll get to see that as well so to start out I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm actually going to point it down. I'm sitting here on my yoga mat right now. I'm going to point it down at my phone because I'm not really sure how to do the um, screen recorder thing. And uh, I don't want to be talking and looking at my phone the whole time and not looking at the camera. So let me turn this around so you can see what's going on on my phone. Okay, so here's my phone. And you can see what day it is in time. So I like to keep all of my apps that are kind of related to the same thing in a little folder together. So these are all of the different apps that I have that I use for diet, exercise, all of that stuff. So the first one here is Aptiv. Aptiv is what I use for all of my workouts. Well, almost all of my workouts. So, one thing I really like about Aptiv is you can um, tell them what your goals are. You can set up your own schedule. Like, you can change your preferences. So, you know, the, like, which type of workouts do you like to do? Right now I have most of this set so that it's uh, good for being able to do just at home. Um, you can tell them what equipment you have. And I say none right now because I'm doing all my working out from home. But if you have like access to a gym and you want to go to the gym, you can do that. Um, you can also edit your plan. You can tell it like what days you want to do certain exercises or um, if you want you could do like a whole training plan to do like certain things like if you don't know what specifically you want to do each day or what you need to do each day you can choose like you want to add this weight loss and pick which days you want to do that that's what I began with and I've kind of tweaked it over time uh, this is what I have right now so on Mondays I take Mondays off. Tuesdays, well right now it's showing this uh, at home total body training. Um, it's a program. I'll get into the programs later. But there's different exercises. Well, I can't show you on here. There's different exercises for um, this particular one and it's got like three strength training exercises and two outdoor running exercises each week. Um, and Tuesdays I like to do the outdoor running, so I'll do that and then a lower body stretch. Wednesdays I'll do one of the strength training and a stretch, like a full body stretch. 
Thursday, I'll do an outdoor running one and a lower body stretch. Friday, I'll do a strength training and a full body stretch. Saturday, I'll just do um, like a outdoor walking run, whatever. Pretty low key kind of thing on Saturday and then a lower body stretch. And then Sunday, um, the strength training thing that I do for that day is usually core and it's like a short one and then a full body stretch. But um, there are programs like that stay at home thing and they run for like different amounts of time. Like you can choose to do one for sleeping better if you want like Pilates, um, just different ones like here's a weight loss one. Um, this is one I've already completed. There's a, you get put on teams and you earn points for your team and that kind of thing. Uh, and people can post stuff, you know, on their little team chat. Also, if you just want to do like other exercises, you can. You can look at all kinds of different stuff here. There's different like courses. There's so much to do on here. And yeah, I just, I really, really, really like this app. Um, and also like, Let's see. Each day it'll show you um, what you have to do. You can get like um, a streak for doing everything every day. Uh, I end up breaking my streak every week because I don't have anything on Monday. So, um, But yeah, you just click on your thing here and you can pick a whatever exercise, whatever stretching if you don't want to do one of their exercises for like this walking and I just want to do it on my own you can um, tomorrow it'll show up but I show you for today you can log something that's not already in there so I would like go over here to outdoor running put how long the calories burned miles covered and add it to my plan um, so this came as part of my um, Hitbox subscription. I really, really, really like that box and I really like this app. It's helped me so much. Um, it is, you can, you, if you don't do the subscription box, you can still do the app. The app is like $15 a month, but again, it's free with the Hitbox. And if you haven't seen me doing one of my unboxings for the Hitbox, I will link all that information down in the description, uh, but I do those unboxings. Um, who knows, maybe one of them will come during this vlog and I'll unbox it here. Okay, so the next app here is Spark People. This is a free app. Um, I need to update my stuff for today, but this is a free app for tracking your food and that's really all I use it for sometimes I'll put like track my weight on there but I don't I'm not really good at updating it on that but here's what it looks like you can let me go to settings um, so you can put what your goal is like what date you want to reach your goal you can tweak your calories and stuff that's my cat. <laughs> and um, I do occasionally change those up. You can add food for each meal. You can either search their stuff or one of the things that I think is really cool is this right here. You can click on this and you just scan the barcode uh, right there. Um, yeah, you scan the barcode of your food and it'll come up. <laughs> Katniss. Uh, 
anyway, so you keep track with all your food. You see how many calories you have remaining for the day. And then I still need to enter my dinner and my snack. You can track your exercise here if you wanted. You can track your water if you want. Um, and you can look at the nutritional report for your all your food. So you can see um, you're wanting to stay you know, under this amount for each of these things. Here's what you have. Here's what you have left. And then it also breaks down like your carbs, your fat, your protein. And it tells you like a goal for each. I personally try to do 40, 30, 30 um, on mine. And they do have like a meal plan thing that you can choose to show up on here. Uh, but I don't do that because I just, I don't, I didn't really like it. But this has been great for tracking food. And this is also the only thing Marty uses. And Marty has lost like 50 pounds so far, which is amazing. So that's what I use for food. And then I'll come back to this one. This one is actually for my watch. So it's sinking right now. But this keeps up with like my steps, my active minutes, uh, the calories that I burned like actively, uh, heart rate, sleep, and it shows you like deep sleep, light sleep, when you woke up, things like that. Um, this one is one that I, I don't use often, but it's a lot of fun. It's called Zombie Run or Zombies Run. And it's like a pot listening to a podcast while you're walking or running or whatever and you're trying to like save people or whatever and it will tell you like when to run and if you um if you have to speed up or whatever to avoid the zombies because like they start getting close to you and it's really cool i i really enjoy it and then this is a new one here it's called fastic so i do um intermittent fasting I, um, let's see, like today, I started fasting a little over an hour ago, and I fast for 16 hours, so I don't eat anything until, uh, about 2.30 tomorrow, but, yeah, I stopped eating at 10.30, start eating at 2.30. It has, you know, it has a timer, which is handy, um, so you know exactly when you can start eating and all that stuff, and you can change, like, your fasting uh, ratio and stuff. It shows how you did each day if you got into your goal. Like that day I kind of messed up a little. Um, it also, this one is a free app. They do have one that you can pay for, the Plus. I don't do that from what I've heard. It's not really worth it. There are some good recipes from what I hear, like single serving recipes, but I don't really need that. Um, and then it gives you like a little lesson. Uh, one of the things I think, oh, and you can also track your water here as well. One of the things I think is really cool about this is, uh, when you click on group, they have a WhatsApp group. So you like join the group and it puts you in like a WhatsApp chat with, um, and it waits for there to be four other people in the chat with you. And then that is your group. So you have like a very small group where you're all getting to talk to each other, get to know each other, kind of buddy with each other. And okay, I was going to show you what my WhatsApp looks like, but I'm afraid that it might um, numbers show up. So I don't want to like put anybody's phone number out there. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, it gives you like tips for the group and stuff. The Fastic app does. And like weekly goals and reminds you to like log your water, reminds you to take so many steps, just things like that. And you know, ask questions to the group and all that. 
I'm really liking this so far. It's, I was kind of doing intermittent fasting anyway, but I wasn't super strict on it. It was more of a, okay, I'm going to stop eating. And I, I didn't have any kind of like ratio on time. It was just, I stopped eating before 10 o'clock and I didn't eat anything until noon the next day. Um, but now I'm, you know, following it how this suggests and I'm liking it and then keep notes is just it's an app where it's like a little notepad kind of thing and I keep my all my measurements and stuff in that also there's a gro a shared grocery list between me and my husband so we can both add stuff to the grocery list so if either of us are at the grocery store we can like go on there and see what we need Okay, so all of those apps are free with the exception of the Aptive um, training app. Uh, I do love that app, but I also understand if you don't want to pay $15 a month for it. But if you do want to get the Hitbox subscription box, it's like $30 a month and you get workout attire, you get the, work, the training app, and other stuff. Usually... Um, what I've gotten so far each time was a pair of like a workout leggings, a top, like a once was a hoodie, another was like a tank top, and usually some kind of like protein bar and a drink, like an energy drink or something like that. And usually one other thing. Like I think last time I got like a massage tension ball or something. And I don't remember what the other thing was the first box I got but for 30 bucks you get all that and access to the app I mean I personally think it's worth it so I continued doing my regular eating how I've been doing and then I did my weigh in on Sunday June 21st and I will cut to that weigh in now So I lost another 1.2 pounds. Yay, I'm getting so much closer to getting out of this 140s slump that I tend to get in. And um, it's funny, I'm so anxious to get out of the 140s except what I've done for this week kind of works against that. But uh, this week I decided to um, incorporate a mini cut cycle into my diet routine I guess so one week out of every month I'm going to do a week where instead of having a like a calorie deficit I'm going to eat the amount of calories um, needed to maintain my current weight so um, by the end of the week I shouldn't gain or lose I should stay pretty much about the same and I've seen that this is supposed to be really good for your metabolism that it's not good for your body to go too long in a deficit and that you need to give your body a break from dieting from time to time and if your body gets used to being uh, at this deficit it gets used to not needing as many calories and therefore it stops burning as many calories and then you need to have a lower deficit like a lower amount to get that deficit and it's it's just not um great for your metabolism and so if you incorporate this mini cut cycle you can kind of trick your body so it goes okay I actually do need all these calories and it and it is it's the amount of calories that your body needs to maintain what you are and so then the next week when you go back to your deficit it it it, it kind of helps jumpstart it again that's what I'm hoping um, 
I've seen that it does work for other people so I'm wanting to give it a shot so that's what I've been doing this week um, it's currently Friday June 26th and I've been doing this since Sunday and I have to say it's been kind of glorious because I've gotten to eat a lot of things that I wouldn't have been able to eat before um, so in my normal weeks when I'm having the calorie deficit I'm typically eating a about um, 1,450 calories a week but with this mini cut cycle I'm amping that up to 1,850 calories a week and well so that's 400 more calories that I get to eat in a day and also because I'm doing it in a shorter um, amount of time I get to have like um, just bigger meals more calorie dense meals and I have been enjoying it plus I've allowed myself to have a few more treats than I might normally have just because I, I can't have those some of those treats other days just because they would not fit into my 1450 calories so the food that I'm going to show you um, I'm going to show you tomorrow's food that's gonna be what I eat like I, I guess a typical day in my uh, mini cut cycle so what I eat when I'm eating 1850 calories a day and I'm eating those over just an eight hour window so from like 2 30 3 o'clock sometimes I push it a little bit later before I start eating um, so 2 30 3 o'clock until about 10 o'clock and yeah so seven hours maybe that I'll be eating all that food anyway so that's the next thing you'll see is what I eat in a day like this and then we'll do my weigh-in and measurements on Sunday which the weight shouldn't change from the 141.8 it should be about the same I mean I'm not gonna be upset if it goes up a little bit or down a little bit um, but as long as it stays pretty close I'll be happy and as far as measurements um, I'm still doing all of my working out and uh, I don't know how I'm not sure how the measurements are gonna go but I do know that I'm not going to end up getting out of the 140s in this vlog but the next one I should which is awesome and I'm really looking forward to it and uh, the next week you know the next vlog will be back to my um, calorie deficit diet okay so I've done enough rambling I hope showing you all the apps and stuff was helpful and I'll talk to you later we don't care we
Good morning, my lovelies. It is Sunday, June 28th, which means it's time for weighing in and taking measurements and all of that good stuff. So I want to start out with um, saying, I, okay, I weigh myself every day. However, I don't worry about, you know, the day-to-day -day weight, uh, but I do weigh myself every day. I only count once a week though. And uh, this week I've been, you know, eating to maintain. And so I've definitely been keeping an eye on how the scale looks. And every day it's been very close. Uh, some Usually within like 0.2 pounds below or above where I was last week. So last week I was at 141.8. Uh, when I got on the scale yesterday, it was 142 exactly. Um, but today's scale was a bit more because, uh, and I think it's because today I started my period. So, um, I think there's maybe some like water retention or whatever, but let's go to the scale. So today it says I'm 142.6, saying that I gained 0.8 for the week. I don't know that that's entirely accurate because like I said, I think it's, um, there's a lot of water weight, but I am counting that weight and then it'll just hopefully be a bigger number down next week. Uh, but I do want to take my measurements. I was actually going through some old pictures yesterday and Oh my gosh, I was just blown away by the difference in my face, by the difference in my arms, like putting my arms down before they were like this thick. And yeah, I'm just, I'm super excited about still doing all this. I'm not like uber disappointed by having gained a little bit this week, even if it is just water weight. Plus I ate like, oh my gosh, I ate this week. It was amazing <laughs> though today I am going to be back down to my you know calorie deficit diet and I'm going to continue that until um, like I said before I'm going to do this once a week uh, one week every month and next month I'm going to be doing it when I'm on vacation because I'm going on a trip and I might not be able to do the diet quite as well I'm going with a friend so that's going to be my week. <laughs> okay, let's start off with neck. So the last time I measured my neck, it was 13.75. And my neck doesn't change much anymore, so I'll be surprised if it's changed again. I have to look in the mirror. Yeah, it's still 13.75. Okay, last time I bust was 38.25. Oh, here, let me shift this camera. Oh no, my battery's flashing. Okay, well let me go ahead and do my bust and then I'll change the battery. Okay, so it was 38.25. And now it is 38.25, so that didn't change. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta change this battery. Okay, I'm back. All right, so last time, both arms were 12.5, and now 12 and a quarter on my left arm, and 12 and a quarter on my right arm. I figure at some point, my arms will start going in the opposite direction because I've been losing fat in my arms and they're slimming down a lot, but I've also been gaining muscle in my arms, so they're gonna get a little thicker, I think, from the muscle. But I don't wanna get like really big muscles or anything. I just want nice slim toned arms, which I'm very much getting and I'm happy, 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 happy about that. 
Okay, last time my waist was 32.25. And yeah, okay, you can see it. Thirty-two, cool. So I lost another quarter of an inch there. Okay, now I do need to shift the camera down so I can do the rest. Okay, last time my hips were thirty-eight point two five, and now they're thirty-eight. Okay, my left thigh was 21.75, and it's now 21.5. And my right thigh was 22, and it's still 22. So I'm actually quite pleased with how all this came out. I mean, yes, the weight went up just a little bit, um, but again, I think a lot of that has to do with water weight. But overall, I lost inches. I didn't gain any inches anywhere. The only things that stayed the same were my neck, my bust, and my right thigh. Um, it's the, the thighs are so weird because they keep going back and forth. The arms do it too. They go back and forth. Anyway, so let's see. I lost a quarter of an inch on each of my arms, a quarter of an inch on my waist, a quarter of an inch on my hips, and a quarter of an inch on my left thigh. So, I'm not mad. <laughs> and I think next week is going to be a great week for both weight loss. And, uh, let's see. Oh, the week after that will be, um, well, half of the week will be, um, my regular weight loss kind of thing. And then the other half of that week will be my trip. So I don't know how I'll do my weigh-in because my weigh-in's gonna happen in the middle of my trip. Maybe my next vlog, I'll just do a week and a half long vlog and I'll do my weigh-in and measurements and I'll only do it once and I'll do it the day before my trip, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different. Um, but if you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click that subscribe button down below. And until next time, remember to always be completely you. Bye.